This content is presented by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, UK Simmer here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video around cottage living. So I do need to say a massive thank you to EA for providing me with an early access code. And I do need to point out that this is not a final build, so things could be subject to change. Um, so I thought that we'd go ahead and build a farmhouse. As you guys know, I am not a builder, um, but I am trying. Uh, I'm really, really trying. I am enjoying building. Um, it's definitely relaxing, I'm finding. Um, but yeah, I, I'm getting there. But I, this particular build, I am really, really proud of. I really did take my time. It took me about eight hours to do. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really proud of it. Um, so I hope you do like it. Um, I was struggling. Basically, what I was trying to do was I wanted to have um, like the little windows at the top. Um, I was trying to use the ones that actually come with the... the the pack but I just didn't like how it looked so I kind of did this um and made made them look like there was bedrooms upstairs even though that there's actually nothing up there um <laughs> but I don't know how some of you builders do these incredible builds that look amazing and the actual rooms as well and I just please teach me your ways guys please <laughs> um but yeah that being said i am actually really proud of this build i feel i thought at the end it looked i was i was happy i was happy with the way that it looked basically um i did struggle with a lot of things but like i said i am just starting out a bit build it while well, trying to build um but yeah a lot of things did change throughout um like the window placements um, and things like that of how they were placed because when I went and did the inside I was like oh that's not quite where I want it but hey it, it did turn out really really well um but again the roofing I I just I, I don't know I don't know what my problem is with roofing but I just cannot do it I don't know I mean if you've got any tips or tricks then please let me know in the comments down below if you're a builder and you're willing to help me and just teach me please um but yeah so the landscaping is probably my favorite part um i don't know why i just really really enjoy doing the landscaping um so this is probably where i spent most of my time um, with this build and that was just layering and layering flowers and making it look pretty um, But yeah, so that new um, wheelbarrow that's um, broken and fallen over with the plants in it. I absolutely adore that object I think that's beautiful um, But yeah, so I did um, have a look at debug and I used quite a few little debug stuff um, I used the debug gate from cottage living um, and then used the fences and I thought that it made it look really really nice. I'm not gonna lie I did it. I did like that um, But yeah, as you can see I'm just piling the flowers um, I don't know. I just I really do like The landscaping part. Maybe I should just do some landscapes. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I just wish that I'd have had obviously this was early early access so the only packs that I had was the base game and cottage living um, so when I do get the pack again um, and I'm able to have it in my own game um, and I've got all of my packs then I should probably try and do some more um, some more speed builds um, and just try and get a little bit better so bear with me I might be doing some poop builds um, but I can only get better, right? I can only get better. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this big tree. Um, but I ended up going with a completely different one. But I was just searching through debug and I was like, what can I use? What can I clutter? I, I love clutter. They're probably my favorite items, actually. Just like clutter stuff. Um, but I found some really cool bushes um, and things in debug which I use. And I found the lights that go around the tree. So I was trying to find a tree that um was really good with going around the uh, going inside the of the lights and um, because they glow at night and they are really really pretty 
Um, but yeah, and then I thought, well, I'll try with the, the, the train tools again. You know my opinions on the train tools. I just, I don't know. I just can't, can't grasp the fact of them. I just can't. But because of the pond tools, I really wanted to put a little pond in there with some fish and some dragonflies and... Yeah, so I did end up doing this pond. It's not perfect. Um, I just tried to put bushes around it to stop the jagged edges like I do with the pools. Um, I suppose once I, you know, get a little bit more confident in using them and more practice, then maybe I will build some better stuff. Um, I did really like the little um, dock thing that's broken, um, but I thought, well, oh, it's probably a little bit too much of a smaller pond to use that but yeah I'm getting there guys I am getting there so I'm just changing things around I thought maybe that was a bit too big of a garden because I do want to have like a little vegetable plot as well I wouldn't really say that this was like a farm as a like a farm farm um, but it's definitely like a little farmhouse that's like gonna be growing their own vegetables and have their own chicken coops and things like that um, so yeah I I'm really pleased with the outcome um, that I that I've got from this build um, like I have said in my other speed build what I will try and do is I will try and get the save files um, from this early build and when we get the final pack if the saves f um, do go into my game then I will put these two builds up on the gallery so that you guys can um, have a look at them yourself and renovate them um, or just I don't know just play with I guess I don't know um, but yeah so then I realized that hang on a second I've brought the fence in but now I don't have enough room for my chicken coop and my vegetable uh, plot so <laughs> I was like ah, I'm gonna have to do it but I actually quite like that I, I did that because it forced me to have a bit of a different shape um, fence which I really like because then it, it secluded that area that farming area um, to to the rest of um, the, the build there so yeah I really like that but yeah it's I don't know I am super proud of this build um, I think I mean I worked hard I'm not gonna lie I, I worked for eight hours on this um, I mean, I know it's only like a little 15 minute video of this, but this is sped up. Um, but I did take my time and I think that's my problem. I think it's because I try and build and try and just get it done. And I don't take time um, to really think about it. Whereas this one, I really did take my time with it um, and really thought about how I wanted it to, to look. So I think that's what made this better for me I guess um but yeah I I really like like the way that it, it's turned out I know I keep saying that but I I am really proud and I don't you know rarely say that about my builds but this one I really love and I think I'm gonna use this um in one of my let's plays um that is gonna be coming up on this channel um, when cottage living does come out but we're on to the inside as you can see I did add a few more windows and move the windows around because I was like mm, they're not looking uh, very very where I want them very where I want them that's not even English is it but you know you know what I mean you know what I mean I do move them again when we put these blinds on because I was like oh they're just not looking the way that I want them so I do end up moving them around um, so that it looked a little bit more better um, but yeah um, the inside I did have a little bit of struggle with because I, I am never ever good with the floor plan um, I need to sort of get some research and ideas on floor plans I know there's like floorplan.com or something like that um, and just sort of copy some to begin with um, and use for reference and just until I get a bit more confidence in doing building but it's definitely something that I do want to attempt to to try and get better at um, but like I said this one yeah this one's the start of many I think <laughs> I hope um, but yeah I really like this kitchen I love the color um, I'm never really one for green um, I, I, I'm always one that doesn't like yellow, doesn't like orange, and doesn't like green. But this green, I like. And I like the, this kitchen. 
Um, I think it just, I don't know, it pops out and it's really, really nice. It's really, really nice. I like it. Um, we're putting the, uh, the non-functional kettle in, which I'm really sad about. <laughs> really sad. I did, oh, that's the point. I did do something really cool with the paintings that I've never done before. Um, and I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do it. Um, they probably have because, you know, builders are amazing. Um, but I ended up doing something and I was like, why have I never done this before? Um, and it was only because I placed those pictures up that I was like, hang on a second. Let's make our own gallery wall. <laughs> I don't know why I've never done that before. Um, so yeah, we made a little gallery wall over here as well. Uh, made some that was big, some that was small. And I was like, why? How? I was sat here giggling to myself. I was like, why have I never done this before? Why haven't I never made my own little gallery wall? Um, so yeah, I was quite happy with the way that that turned out. Um, again, just layering some objects. Also, I do not know whether this is... Um, like gonna be okay for a playthrough I've not played through it so I don't know whether you know things are not gonna work um, but yeah it's I mean once it's on the gallery you guys can have a little play with it and uh, you know play test it and move things around or renovate it and make it look even better I don't know um, but yeah I've had so much fun with this pack um, honestly guys when you do get this pack you're gonna have so much fun with it there are so many objects that are just amazing. The game itself is just amazing. Um, I've definitely had the time of my life. So again, thank you EA for inviting me um, to this early access capture. I've had a blast and I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really good pack. Um, as I've said in many of my previous videos, Seasons was always my favorite expansion pack. Um, but I don't know, I don't know, this one is, uh, I think it's going to take the first part, I really, really do, because I really like it, I love the rabbits, the rabbits have definitely captured my heart in this game, um, they're just so cute, but just everything all round is just a really cute pack, really, like, good for gameplay, it's really good for building, um, because there's some amazing objects, not just in the normal menu, but in the debug menu as well. Um, they are just incredible. I think the team have done really, really well um, with this pack. I mean, there was a couple of bugs um, that we have reported as game changers. Um, so hopefully they will be fixed by the time um, it releases. Um, but yeah. No, I'm, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I tried to, like, clutter it up as much as I could so the aesthetics looked a little good. Um, but I'm sure I'll get a bit better on those. But yeah, so this was uh, the bathroom. And then we did the living room. And I was trying to find some curtains and I just couldn't um, because I didn't have all of my packs. And I was like, I need my packs. I need my packs. Um, so I ended up having to go with these base game curtains. Um which were the only pretty ones. Um, I must admit we do need a <coughs> um, a kit that is just like curtains and doors and windows maybe. Um, but yeah, that will be a nice idea. <laughs> but yeah, um, definitely a clutter kit, definitely a doors and windows kit, definitely curtains kit, things like that. We definitely need those, more of those kind of things um, and more normal, normal curtains, all these fancy stuff. I like some just normal curtains, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. So I'm going to leave you with some screenshots, guys. Please, if you have uh, enjoyed this video, do give me a big thumbs up. If you have already, haven't already done so, then please do subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are on this build in the comments down below. I would really appreciate any help, um, your opinions on this, um, because I, I do appreciate all of your comments. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.